nice uh, li chicken liver sack. He's <laughs> pulling them. Yeah, it's pull hard. That's a good one. Huh? Yeah, that's a good one. video I'm going to talk a little bit about channel catfish baits types of baits we like to use and I'm going to show you how we tie our chicken liver sacks well first off night crawlers and worms are a pretty good channel catfish bait the only drawback is all other fish like worms too so you're waiting for that big channel cat chances are a smaller fish is going to steal your bait another good bait for channel catfish is uh, live chubs and shiners uh, Caught a lot of nice fish on live bait fish. Only problem is in our area there's bait restrictions and it's tough to find good certified bait, but live shiner or live chub will work real good on a bottom rig. Another good catfish bait is cut bait. Now you get a nice piece of cut shad or whatever type of bait fish is in the body of water you're fishing, even a cut sunfish will work good. Just cut it, cut it, leave a bloody piece hanging, throw a hook on it, toss it out there, good chance you're going to get a big catfish. Now, a local favorite around here, a lot of old timers like to use, is uh, shrimp. Uh, they like to let it sit in the sun a couple days, get a little stinky, but I haven't had too much luck on it. I've caught a few on the fresh shrimp, but uh, I'd rather not handle the stinky stuff. There's some other types of baits. Uh, you got your commercial dip baits, stink baits, catfish nuggets. Yeah, I try quite a few of them. Some guys swear by them, you know, they work in some lakes and streams, but I really never had too much luck on it. In the over 30 years I've had fishing channel catfish, best bait by far I've ever used is a fresh chicken lever. Only drawback with the chicken lever, it doesn't stay on the hook too good. Well, what I do is I take my fresh chicken lever and I tie them up in the mesh sacks or they stay on the hook. Even a small fish can't pull it off stay on there for hours and we'll show you how we tie ours up show you how we tie up our chicken liver sacks take some fresh chicken liver you got the bait mesh there cut a nice chunk off put the piece in the bait mesh grab all the corners fold it up pull up the corners and you take your atlas magic thread take the thread wrap it around a chicken liver sack three four times pull it tight another three four times pull it tight and there you have it nice smelling chicken liver sack tap a bunch real quick get out and catch some nice catfish well, I'm gonna do a taste test on the various types of catfish bait right here we have a night crawler live night crawler we got some cut bait we got some uh, stink bait uh, dip bait some catfish nuggets some shrimp that have been out in the sun and some chicken liver alright let me see here first first I'm going to try this here stink bait uh, commercial tool bait that ain't too good alright all right. catfish might like it but that was a blood cheese flavor now here we got a cut bait piece of bait fish. This one here is fresh, cut. Try this out. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Well, here we have a piece of shrimp that's been out in the sun for a couple days. I don't know. Fish should be able to smell it for a long distance, but all right, here it goes. Here we have some uh, catfish nuggets. I'm going to try a couple of these. They yeah, a nice smell to them. They actually smell pretty good. They aren't too bad either. And here we have a nice piece of fresh chicken liver. I don't know if it's a good idea to do this, but I'm going to try it. That's pretty tasty. And last but not least, we got a live nightcrawler here. 
not a whole lot of smell to it, but we'll see how it tastes. Not bad. Yep. I have to say out of all the chick uh, all the cat I'd have to say out of all the catfish baits, the chicken liver t actually tasted the best. The cut bait was actually pretty good too. I don't know about the other ones. Catfish might like them, but that's my taste test for you.